What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So a great Tesla Model 3 accessory that I've mentioned before is all-weather floor mats. And I actually have a rubberized set that's pretty good. But I've always had my eye out on the all-weather floor mats that wraps around the edges. So when a company reached out to see if I was interested in, te in testing a set, I was definitely interested. So in this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing and install them and compare them against my original all-weather floor mats versus the new ones that wrap around the edges. Let's get into the video. Thanks for watching another video. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I just got this Tesla Model 3 and I make videos about my experience, including a weekly autopilot video in Los Angeles traffic. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So this is my current set and you can see it's rubberized and it's basically a floor mat that's rubberized. So it doesn't necessarily wrap around the edges. I put it on top of my existing floor mat. You're probably not supposed to do that. Uh, but I put it on top so it just goes right on top and it protects my original floor mats from dirt, rain, or any elements that I can pick up from being outside. And I've actually only had these rubberized floor mats for a couple of weeks now, and you can see they're already pretty dirty. They just need a good wipe or wash and they'll be good as new. So here's the new floor mats. They're from Farsala. So thank you to Farsala for sending these out. Uh, they do sell their floor mats on Amazon like every other Tesla seller out there. Pretty nice box in comparison to the other ones I've ever seen. It comes with a manual. Let's get these out. Interesting, so it is branded Farsala which my current floor mats aren't branded uh, but on a surface level, this is pretty nice. I like how it wraps around the edges so that dirt doesn't necessarily get under the floor mat. So here's the back seat version. And then we have two for the front, one for the driver's side, and then one for the passenger side. And again, I guess both of these are labeled Farsala, which, which I don't particularly like any sort of branding like that, but I mean, I do like how it wraps around the edges so that no dirt gets under the floor mats. So yeah, three piece, two in the front and one in the back. Let's go ahead and install these and then compare them against the original all-weather floor mats I have. So here's to give you an idea of how much better the wraparound all-weather floor mats are, especially the Farsala versions. These are a different brand. As you can see, it is rubberized. Uh, there are some lines for traction, but it's completely flat. Whereas the Farsala wraparound all-weather floor mats are nicely textured uh, and they wrap around the front edges and kind of the back so that dirt just stays on the floor mat instead of leaking under the floor mat onto your carpet. What's really nice about the driver's side is that it covers the dead pedal, whereas the other all-weather floor mat doesn't. Okay, so one thing I noticed on the driver's side, let me get my light out, is it's a very, very, very snug fit. Kind of lifts up a little bit. I'm gonna try and push that down a little bit more. I took out my original carpet floor mats because it was probably adding a little bit of a thickness to it so it wouldn't be snug fit. The one thing I do like immediately is the original all-weather floor mats didn't cover the dead pedal where the far seller one, since it wraps up around the edges, this one actually covers the dead pedal, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the passenger side now. So now I know I have to take off the carpet mat as well. Uh, so this one's pretty standard, snug fit. So here is what this side looks like. Okay, so lastly, this back seat piece right here, it's one long piece. It's this one long piece that wraps around both sides of under the chairs. Uh, the all-weather piece is nicer than the carpet floor mats because it has this middle section where the carpet floor mats don't actually protrude underneath this center console. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. And again, this one is also branded Farsala, of course. Uh, and I think maybe this one, I might just try and keep the carpet under it because I think possible that you can still install this with the carpet under it with no problem. All right, so it looks like this one's cooler because the middle piece actually protrudes farther out than the carpet, Well, the carpet doesn't protrude at all but the other all-weather floor mats didn't actually extend as much as this Farsala all-weather floor mat. So nice and snug around the edges and pretty good. And you can see this is what happens when you don't have the rounded edges. Dirt just gets under the floor mats or just miscellaneous stuff gets under and it just starts to collect there beneath the floor mats. Let's
But yeah, pretty happy with these floor mats. I don't necessarily like how it is branded Farsala, but I get it, it is their product. And I do like how it covers the dead pedal to protect it from dirt on the driver's side. And I also like how on the back seat, the middle section protrudes a little bit more, so it just covers more area instead of the carpet all weather floor mats. Of course, I like how it wraps around the edges so that dirt doesn't get underneath. As you've seen, there's already some dirt underneath there. So I'm probably gonna go back there and vacuum under some more before I actually install the floor mats. Thank you to Farsala for sending me the floor mats. I'll paste the links below to Amazon so you can check out the floor mats yourself and you, and you can see if you're interested in purchasing them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video and comment below on what you think or if you actually have these floor mats yourself, if you think they're way better than the original all-weather floor mats. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.